point that rifle at me, okay? I don't want this to be a bad situation. What We're crime do you suspect me of? Well, because you're sitting here pointing a the rifle. Uh, okay. Sir, I'm not pointing my rifle at anybody. Secure the gun for right now. You guys are wrong. You guys jumped the gun, all ran out here. You're wrong. Give me my shit back. Look at this shit. Look at all these scumbags. Give me my property back. Give me my property back and get out of here. All of you. And that's a little bit of the confrontation between a local open carry protester and the Oakland County Sheriff's Department recently. Nick Somberg says he was harassed by deputies when he carried his AR-15 during a demonstration in Rochester Hills. He posted this video on YouTube. And Nick is here with us this morning to give us some insight on why he did what he did. And so is the owner of Action Impact Gun Range and Firearm Store, Bill Kusek. He thinks Nick's protest may actually hurt. Uh, that's... Uh, Interesting. Let me start, though, with um, with uh, uh, you, uh, Nick. You called the cops scumbags. You also kind of kind of played with the cops. Were you tr trying to get some attention from them? Well, I'd like to make clear. We, we do these protests every Friday. This is actually the 16th week consecutively that I was open carrying an AR-15 on the side of the road. These are peaceful protests. Um, the people su support us. Uh, greatly. They beep their horns, they wave. We have uh, women with their children get out of their cars and come up to us and thank us for supporting the Second Amendment and for taking a stand. Some felt that you were just, for lack of a better phrase, poking an angry dog with a stick. I mean, you're just antagonizing them. Ab absolutely not. This was a peaceful protest uh, for the officers to come up and illegally detain me and now to consider that provoking them uh, doesn't make sense. Bill, he didn't violate any law whatsoever, not one law, but yet you don't like what he did. I, I'm not sure I necessarily agree with you. Um, you mentioned the word provoking, and I think we have to understand that citizens in this country are on alarm and alert. And you have cars that are driving, and to suddenly see somebody with an AR-15, which is certainly a symbol of many mass shootings, people are justified in being afraid. And when people get afraid, they sometimes act different than they normally would. So if they're changing directions and the way they drive, if they stop suddenly, I think that's actually creating a hazard for the public. I, I don't know what he's attempting to accomplish. But the truth of the matter is, if a police officer comes up to you and you are on a lawful property, you don't have to give them one bit of ID, do you? That's right. Nothing. Well, no, you don't. But you know, we've got a guy carrying an AR-15, and I think the officer showed great restraint, to be honest with you. I did too. When I looked at how that firearm was carried, I would be concerned too, just as Sergeant Stoner was. That, that looked to me to be center sling carried. And as he turns, the barrel of that gun will sweep anything in its direction. And Nick, the truth is, is I mean, we just did have the shooting at the Navy Yard with this Aaron Alexis, and he had some mental issues. I mean, from you just standing there, no one really knows if what your motivations might be. Or he could be crazy. It makes sense. Um, if somebody wants to call the police, that's absolutely within their rights. Um, the issue came where the officer, instead of conducting an investigation within the law, he illegally detained me, which is not which is not um, what he's supposed to do as a police officer. That's an exaggeration. From, you from the wanted illegal the seizure, confrontation. You wanted the officer to come up not. to you. He didn't absolutely detain not. you. Let me say, we've had officers approach us in the past. Um, and afterwards, we posted a new YouTube video of a, an, an incredible deputy from the Oakland County Sheriff's um, that I would encourage everybody to see the difference between a constitutional law-abiding deputy and an officer who doesn't know the law. Did you call the second officer a scumbag? When the officer approached me, the first thing he did was demand that I lay my rifle down, and he drew his weapon. He brandished his weapon at me. I've never been, um, I'm not used to being threatened with deadly force. Um, if he didn't do that, I would, I would not have laid my rifle down. I would have continued my peaceful protest but on my own property. Here, here's the, here's the, what's troubling me about the situation, though, is that you are an advocate of open carry. You are a gun advocate. But the way that we just saw that video, Aren't you giving the open carry people a bad name? Just say, here I am, I'm Nick Somberg, I live at blah, 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 here's my ID, and I'm doing my job. You, the cops would have been gone, boom, like that. But you didn't do that. I don't represent all gun owners. About the same is, because I had a cell phone, I represent cell phone owners. Um, like I said, we've had the police come out before. It's always been a peaceful, consensual uh, interaction. They've always known the law, and um, they've come and 
asked us what we're doing um, and said, okay, be safe, and they're on their way. And I, with a flag and an R, 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 AR-15 around your, you know, chest, I mean, aren't you just pushing the limits, though? I, I mean, in, in, for instance, there's a lot of things that are legal. Um, you know, we've talked to you about Absolutely. this, and, and you might want to ex extend on this point, but um, it doesn't make it right. You're still making people a little nervous about what you're doing. I, th I think you have to be sensitive to how you're perceived. I think that's how an orderly society functions. What he doesn't understand, because he doesn't have any experience with this particular rifle, certainly not enough, but he doesn't understand how this call may have come in. If it comes in as a man with a gun call, you can bet these officers are going to get there quickly, and you can, have, you can bet that their adrenaline's going to be going a little bit. So what does he expect? to occur when he's standing out in public with an AR-15. Bill, is open carry good? Should we ban that? I, I don't think we should ban it. I'm not an advocate of it because I actually think it's a safety concern for the person carrying the gun. Somebody may kill you just to get your gun. Uh, so um, I, I think it, it provokes dissension. I don't think what he did, I think that's actually good for the anti-gun advocates. I think he's going to end up being a poster child for the anti-gun advocates. So, wait, wait. So what you're saying is that by what he did, he might be pushing lawmakers to make more restrictions. Yeah, I think so. I mean, here's a guy who's supposed to be representing well and he's calling officer scumbag the same officers that may sacrifice their life to save him and if his what family. What you're saying is that exercising he's calling right them scumbags. Then what you're saying is we don't have rights. I was absolutely within the law to do this. And nobody was we stopping do this you. every Friday. Nobody stopped you. Nobody stopped it's you on Thursday or Wednesday. To conduct an investigation to create the reasonable suspicion he needs to detain somebody because say there, there was a criminal, say it, it, the person with the gun was a criminal, that they uh, had drugs on them. From that illegal seizure, anything that he would have found subsequent to that would have been thrown out in court. It would not have been admissible. So it's important for them to follow the law, to comply with due process, and to uh, no criminal procedure. He's a second year law student who's been reading his law books just a little bit too carefully. He doesn't know the real world I don't think you could read law books too carefully. But are you saying then that what, what the officer should have, what should the other officer have done? He should have done what officers have done in, in the past when they've been called out to us, park, Observe the situation, taking the totality of the circumstances. He sees somebody with a flag. I have a pretty girl next to me with a sign that says, Honk for Liberty. We're clearly protesting. I'm not running, I'm not in the middle of the street. I'm not running into a movie theater. Do you think that I'm open, clearly protesting. Laws can be changed. Do you think that what you did and the public outcry that you have caused might uh, lead to some lawmakers to ban the open carry rules? Um, if you look at the YouTube video and anywhere this, this video is posted, the public outcry is 10 to 1 in my favor. People understand what I'm doing, what I'm standing up for. You can't represent that. That's, you may say 10 to 1 on the people who have responded. That's, that's the most he can say. He can't make a we have general conclusion YouTube for everybody. Views in one week. Would you do it again? This I, Friday? I already did, last Friday. And um, we, had a, we had an officer come, and people need to see this video. It's, this guy handled it the way an officer should. He was a hero. All right. And Nick let's Sandberg. make it clear, Bill. You're not against guns. You have a no, gun store. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you do this. So thank you so much for joining right. us and uh, sharing your views. Of course, the debate continues, and that does it for Letter Up Weekend. Fox News Sunday.